Okay, this is one of my favorite movies here. It's a Wonderful Life. It's by Happy Vlogmas. This is the fifth day of Vlogmas. And what we're gonna do today is look at go online and look at the movies. Or actually go on my fire stick and look at our favorite movies. And you can tell me um, below what movies that you like. And then I'm going to pick one. And then I'm going to review it and be right back with you. Okay, this is one of my favorite movies here. It's The Wonderful Life. It's by um, Frank Capra. I can't, can't believe I forgot that. Frank Capra it has J um, by sorry, James Stewart and Donna Reed and Lionel Barrymore. Um, I fell in love with this movie back in the 90s. Um, and it really hit, hit, hit home that you never wish that you never wish that you were never born and everything because you, your life touches so many others lives but I fell in love with this movie I watch this movie every single year I love Christmas Carol this is one of my favorite versions of it right here I love the Christmas Carol so much that I even listen to the book in the summertime and it, it brings back the Christmas spirit version of the Christmas Carol I never saw it's called Scrooge it came out in 1951 so I think I'm going to order it so I can take a look at it and find out it says buy it for $7.99 but I think I might go ahead and order it and just, just to take a look at it I don't remember ever seeing this though so this this would be on my list to, to take a look at the Christmas Carol came out in 1984 I was in middle school when this one came out and I fell in love with it. George C. Scott is one of the one of my favorite actors. So we'll be watching this one. I had this one actually downloaded on my Apple TV. So um, I'll watch it from there. The Man Who Had Been at Christmas. This is the Charles Dickens story. And one of my favorite actors in, is, is from um, Downton Abbey. He actually plays Charles Dickens. And I didn't know Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens actually used people that he know or names that he heard in all of his stories, like an Oliver Twist and um, The Man Who Had Been at um, um, Christmas Carol. He actually knew people's names. He actually knew the people and he used them in his books as his characters. This is a Christmas Carol, the musical. Never saw it, but I think I'll take a look at, look at it and see what it's all about. The musical version. I usually don't like a lot of musical movies, but I'm gonna take a look at this one because it is my, one of my favorite movies, Christmas Carol. Or one of my favorite stories. Bishop Wife, Whitney Houston and Denzel Washington did this movie over, but it was called, I think it was at the time, they called it A Preacher's Wife. And their movie was really good. I never saw this one version of it, so I will be watching their original. I'll watch that this year, and then I will come on and give a, um, I will add on to this video and give a better review. Stick has a, a find, when you go to find, and uh, you just go down to the search it says holidays and you can go see all the movies they had listed on their holidays and they have jingle all the way um casey mcgrew's christmas show it's a wonderful life snowy day 12 days of christmas surviving christmas christmas edition dear christmas jingle all the way to I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. The Prince a Prince for Christmas. I think I saw that one. I really do. I think I saw this one. It says Santa Hill. Christmas Romance and Snowbound. Okay, and holiday gift guide is Amazon Live. Oprah's favorite gift. Um, that's Amazon Live, holiday gift guide, and another holiday gift guide. I got to check all of these out. And there's the Grinch. And Frosty's Winterland. I love um, Author Christmas, Rudolph Shiny Reindeer, Shiny New Year, North Pole, and Christmas. All I want for Christmas. Nothing. Nothing like the holidays. It's a lot of Christmas movies. 
This is one of my favorite Christmas movies here. Christmas Vacation. And this one is for Christmases. Christmas with the Cranks. That is really, really funny. That has um, Tim, Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis, Dan Aykroyd. It's really, really funny. Um, it's, I just, I watch it every year since it came out. And it came out in 2004. Elf, Elf is a little funny to me, but I mean, and then there's Fred Claus, which I never saw. And 12 Days of Christmas Eve. Gremlins, I like Gremlins. Second Chance Christmas. Held a Kamara Christmas. The Christmas Switch. I think I saw this one before. Mrs. Doubtfire. And Christmas Song. Christmas Present. Christmas Past. Merry Mix. It's a lot of things under this fine. If you want something to do during the holidays. Tears and my eggnog. Upbeat holiday favorite. And then Love Never Takes a Holiday. Bad Mom's Christmas. I want to see this. I, I how much is it? Okay, it's three ninety nine to rent. I'm a fire stick. I want to see this though. Tyler Perry, Medea's Christmas. Okay, I didn't see that yet either. Let me see how much is that. It's three to nine to um, rent on BET. And one of my favorite, this is my favorite Christmas movie here. It is Home Alone. And I watched this, I could watch it over and over and over again. And Willy Wonka. I never knew that was considered a Christmas movie, but I guess. Oh, the Santa Claus. I remember taking my son, me and my son and my niece, went to go see this in 1994. It came out the day after Thanksgiving in 1994. I remember seeing it. We saw it. It was on Black Friday. And this is my favorite Christmas story. They play Christmas story on TBS from, I think, Christmas Eve, all the way up until Christmas night. I get milk on 34th Street, Santa Claus too. I like this one also. And then Santa Claus 3, I like this one too. And I went, me and my daughters went to go see this. And we was living in New York. We went to go see it in Brooklyn at the movie theater. And um, I think it was Red Hook. We went to go see this. Either Red Hook or downtown Brooklyn, we went to go see this. It was really funny. And Jim Carrey was the um, uh, was play Scrooge. Okay, and this is the Grinch movie. Um, I took my children to see this on a Sunday, and right after Christmas, um, right after Thanksgiving in the year two thousand. So I went to go see this. This was this is a really funny. Um, Grinch movie. Jim Carrey really played this part. Christmas in Connecticut. I never saw it. Family Stone. I think I remember seeing it. Sarah Jessica Parker. Yep, there's the preacher's wife. Yep, that was Whitney Houston. There she is, Denzel Washington, and then the guy that plays her husband, that plays the preacher. Christmas Bells, never saw that. This is a wonderful life. Bridget Jones Diary. I never think that would be a Christmas movie, but I guess it will be. So we have some things now that we can take a look at and go over in movies and everything. And we have what? 
How many days to Christmas today? Is it we have 20 days to watch all of these. Okay, and that brings the end of um, Blogman's Day 5. The review of all the Christmas movies that I like to see. So I'm about to start looking at them now. After I see Seattle beat 49ers. I'm going to start watching my Home Alone and Christmas Story. Those are my favorite two top movies. And then The Christmas Girl. So happy holidays and see you on day six.